If you have improperly installed a custom ROM, third party app or did some wrong operation on your Realme 6 which has made your Realme 6 unable to boot or unstable. As you can see this is my Realme 6 and it is rebooting again and again. If I am trying to restart it then it will stuck on Realme logo and if I am trying to boot this device into the recovery mode or fast boot mode then it will uh, stuck on Realme logo. So, so don't worry it's a flexible thing. This video will provide a simple solution for it. You just need to follow few steps and we are done. So let's get started without any further ado. But intro is important. Preview. So guys before doing anything first you need to power off your device. To power off your device press volume up, volume down and power key simultaneously for about 5 seconds and it will power off your device. So let me power off my device. As you can see my device is now powered off. Now it's time to move to the PC screen. So guys in PC you need to download all these files. You can download these files from the description box. These files are libusb, python, qualcomm drivers and realme 6 from their file. First you need to install python. To install python, run python as administrator and keep pressing next to install the python. Python setup is now installed on my device. To check Python is, is installed successfully or not, open CMD and type python space hyphen hyphen version. It will show you the installed version of Python on your PC. As you can see Python is now successfully installed on my PC. Now it's time to install PySerial. PySerial is a Python library which provides support for serial communication over a variety of different devices. Uh, it means it, it helps to connect your device with the PC and you need to copy this device copy this command and paste in the cmd and hit enter it will install pi serial on your pc so guys as you can see pi serial is now successfully installed on my pc now you can close this and open the folder again and it's time to install the qualcomm usb drivers so you need to extract this and open it And click on ok and click on yes it will install the qualcomm drivers on your pc and it asks to restart my pc so i'm gonna select no i will restart the computer later and now i am gonna reboot my pc seconds later my pc is not rebooted now it's time to extract the bypass tool pack folder so extract it folder is now extracted so open this folder and here open drivers and right click on cdc.acm.inf file and select install now operation is successfully completed go back and it's time to extract the firmware file so this is the firmware file i am gonna extract this guys uh, it may take 3 to 5 minutes uh, it's depend on your computer speed so i am gonna fast forward the video So guys firmware is now extracted. These are the firmware file. We will flash this file with the help of sp flash tool. 
now it's time to install usb lab file and so extract this file now open this folder and run this file as administrator guys this is needed so that the user application uh, able to access the connected usb devices on my pc so click on next to install it and now launch the installer click on finish and it's time to connect your device with the pc so to connect your device with the PC you need to press volume down and volume up keys and connect your device with the PC. Guys make sure you connect uh, you need to press uh, these buttons and as you can see uh, MediaTek port here and you need to select this MediaTek USB port and click on install. And now it is now installed uh, it's time to run brom.bat file. Guys, brom.bat file is used to connect your device uh, with EDL mode. So open this and open bypass and run this brom.bat. And guys, uh, here you need to uh, power off your device again and you need to connect your device with the PC uh, by pressing volume up, volume down keys while connecting your device with the PC. So I'm gonna connect my device with the same method. And if uh, brom.bat says protection disabled, it means you are ready to go. As you can see protection disabled. Now you can check your device is connected with, with your device uh, or not. So open device manager. And here search for ports or other devices. And he, guys here as you can see my device is connected in EDL mode now it's time to flash firmware so go back and here open this flash tool and run flash tool.exe so in sp flash tool uh, you need to click on options and options and here go to connections and first you need to select this UART and port is COM3 and in in here here you need to select this uh, uh, 921600 and you can close this and click on choose button next to the scatter loading file section Here uh, browse the downloaded stock room and select the scatter file. So here is the scatter file, open it and the tool will start loading all the stock firmware files. All the files are now loaded, it's time to start flashing so click on download button. And guys uh, as you can see the actual process of flashing is now started. As soon as it's completed the tool will show download complete message on the screen and guys this might take four to five minutes to complete uh, so be patient i'm gonna fast forward the video
so guys as you can see the download okay its main flashing is now done and now you can unplug the device from the pc and press power key to boot your device first time device will be booted into the recovery mode as you can see my device is now booted into recovery mode uh, here you ne we need to format the data so tap on wipe data and enter the verification code and click on wipe data it will format all the data on your device and wipe is successful now it's time to reboot the device guys first reboot might take quite a while uh, but don't worry it's normal uh, so i'm gonna fast forward the video So as you can see my device is now booted successfully and all the things are working fine and let me show you the current android version and device name as you can see device name is realme 6 and realme ui is 1.0 and android version is android 10 so guys by this way you can unbreak your realme 6 uh, hope you like this video if you like this video give it a big thumbs up this is Jarvis signing off.